So we got a, um, a Dakin U4 fault. So basically the story is it stopped working and um, the customer, my mate, is Sparky. So he opened up the outdoor unit and saw that the protection fuse on the outdoor PCB was blown, replaced it, turned it on, and then like turned it on at the controller. The outdoor unit kicked in so compressor fans apparently and then came upstairs and the uh, controller was just flashing U4 so he I told him to come up and open up this and see what the LED lights are doing and whatever and um, I'll show you what we found Where is it? Yeah, I don't know if you can see it, but it's all burnt. It's all burnt in there next to the fan plug, so anyway, I'm gonna I've just come here today with that um, board and the fan motor, so replace it and we'll go from there. So that plug is hard to get out. Okay, so straight away we have a problem. So basically, that's obviously cooked the board and cooked the plug. So what I've done is just come on site for the first time with a board and a fan. That's the new board. Man, it doesn't come with a plug. It comes with this. It's like they want you to use the existing plug, but this plug is um, now absolutely cooked, which is not ideal. Alright, so basically, what I've done is I've just taken this box off the back. This goes off the back, that's why you should never hang strap off it in case you need to do a fan motor. Always put a strap on the corner of this section. Anyway, so basically, I've taken this off. What I'm gonna do is because I it is like so hot up here, I'm going to um, take this fan off with those screws, just take the whole thing off, go down and change this fan over into the barrel down down at the car because it's way too hot up here so and then i'll work out what i'm going to do with the plug down there so let's get out of here no, i'm outside now so i'm not going to overcook
All right, I'll test this later, see what's wrong with it. And I need capacitors, four microfarad, six, to get more 4 UF capacitors for now, I'll use this one. I'll just have to join the cable, which is annoying, but whatever, it's brand new. So basically, that's a new board. I've made a mistake though, so everything's fine. Um, I ordered, that's the board that's faulty, I've ordered this. Now, Normally, or every time, like when you order a new board, all the plugs from that go into that. So that's all like for like. However, on the replacement board, you need to put a capacity adapter into X23A. So this knows that it's for a seven kilowatt board. And if you don't, it'll come up with an error code. When you, order the board um they should come with the capacity adapter however in this case it didn't i should have checked the box before i left the factory i didn't so i'll take some responsibility but ah, so annoying um so basically now i'm going to put this in for the customer and i'm going to have to leave get a capacity adapter and come back so frustrating but it's just the way it is and I'll get a new plug. Anyway, for anyone that's doing it, always get the capacity adapter when you're doing indoor board. Don't make the same mistakes as me. So, 
capacity adapter. Let's stick on that red one. Sorry about the um, not great rushed video, but man, that was hot in that roof. I need to um, get better at organizing jobs and <laughs> the times that I go into roofs because that was, I went to that job at 12 p.m., um, replaced the fan motor, replaced the PC board. I noticed that the um, plug was a little bit cooked as you saw um, but as I was working I noticed that I didn't have the capacity adapter I didn't even try to run it without it I just went stuff it I'm gonna cop it and just I went out to um, Warwick Farm where I get spare parts um, which honestly took me like an hour there and an hour back because of the traffic but whatever I've come back put that in and it's working sweet so a few things about that job one u4 is like a communication error um that was just a communication error because the board was faulty and the board is faulty because the fan motor was dead so it also took out the fuse on the outdoor board so basically whenever you go to a u4 all you need to do is go check the hap light on the outdoor unit and the indoor unit boards and um just check where the power is and um you can also check if the interconnect so one two three you check in between three and earth or three and neutral whatever and see if there's voltage um coming out of the indoor unit and the outdoor unit separately without the cable in and it'll you normally work out with all those things together what's going on um and yeah so that's pretty much that job the reason why i didn't have a haplite the reason why i stuffed up on this one it's not like me but in the past in this particular instance, I would have rung Dakin Technical Support, said, hey, I need an indoor board for this model, and I need an indoor fan for this model. And they would give me the part numbers for both, and they would be like, you need a capacity adapter with that board. However, now I've got access to the Dakin Global Data Bank, so now I just go in there, write in the um, model number, and then I just scroll through all the parts and whatever I want, I can see what the part number is on the spot. I just send a purchase order to Dakin and then go pick it up or get it delivered. Um, so now it's up to me to order the capacity adapter, which I forgot to be honest, but then when I wanted it, I even went onto the data bank and they didn't have it listed. So I actually had to ring spare parts, which is a, a nightmare in itself because it takes forever. Anyway, the job didn't really go to plan, but um, I've come back on the same day, fixed it, it's running, customer's happy, I'm happy, all good, we live and learn. Um, but yeah, so that's how that went. Um, I was going to do heat more filming, but my, it was just so hot in the roof and my camera kept cutting out on heat. So, yeah, all good, but I'm going to go home, relax and get back to work tomorrow. Let's go.